I'm Ava, and today we're taking a look at a lot of Zuru mini brands. This is the third video where I'm unboxing Zuru mini brands, and today we're looking at a lot of new ones. We have the Foodie Mini Brand Series 2, Mini Brands Fashion, Mini Brands Sneakers, Mini Fashion Series 2, and Mini Brands Series 5. And I personally haven't taken a look at any of these collections, so I'm very excited. Let's start with the Mini Brands Series 5. Okay, let's open this thing up. I am noticing on the outside that it says you can unbox ultra rare frozen moment minis, which basically just looks like an in-action scene of like something happening. Like this one's like a hot sauce pouring onto a taco. Those are kind of cool. So I hope we can find one of them. I always forget how bad this packaging is. They always really make you work for it, you know? I can't decide if the long nails are an advantage or disadvantage for this. I need scissors. I'll never understand how some people can actually open these up aesthetically. Okay, and then I guess for this one, we just crack it in half and then we have the packages inside. I kind of miss the little orange slices. Here is the collector's guide. And taking a look at the guide, I am really hoping for one of these frozen moments or for one of the mini minis that are basically like little packages with a surprise mini inside. So that might be kind of ambitious, but that's what we're hoping for. Let's see what we actually got. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna open these up in a random order. This one literally feels like there's nothing inside. Oh, maybe there's something over there. I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary packaging, to be honest, but... We have... Chupa Chips. Chupa Chips? Chupa, I've never heard of this brand ever. Oh, they're like the classic little lollipops. I didn't know that's what they were called, to be honest. Okay, in here. Oh, we have a Coca-Cola. These ones are always really cute, but but they're unfortunately never sized properly for Barbie dolls, so I'm not ever as hyped about these ones. Here. Oh, okay, that's cute. Actually, the Sprite is slightly better. I feel like this could work better for dolls, at least than the Coca-Cola can. Oh my gosh, I can't hold things. Where did that go? But I do, I really like how it does look like it's actually filled with the Sprite, because you can like see the little liquid in there. And here. <gasps> no way! Okay, I thought I was being ambitious with hoping for one of these packages, but we actually got one. We actually got one first try, well, fourth try, but in, in the first surprise ball. Anyways, this is very exciting. The package alone is just really cool, and I'll definitely be using this, like, for the doll. But let's see what we actually have inside. This is like a two-in-one, because you get a box and a mini. Okay, I'm doing this way too slowly, but, like, we need the suspense. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay. That's actually adorable. It's a tiny little nail polish. I, if you guys somehow can't tell, I love nail stuff. So this is super cute and it looks like it's a great size for the dolls. And the detail on this really is incredible. Like you can see the little nail polish number at the top. I think that says 680. I do feel like if I order this in person, I would think that the packaging is a little excessive for a small bottle of nail polish. But I'm not gonna complain because this box is awesome. <laughs> and the last package from the first surprise ball, we have Cape Cod. It's a type of chip, I guess. And one thing I like to do after opening each ball is point out which of the items is my favorite. So from this round, I think it's pretty clear that this combo was my favorite. I don't know if I can count both as one, but they did come together. And then I also always like to check off on the guide what I got as we go. Okay, I don't know if the nail polish was the mini one here or the bigger one. I feel like it must be the mini one because I can't imagine how it would get much smaller than this, but I don't know if there's any way of telling. But I'm gonna just go with this one because again, I don't think it could get much smaller. Okay, let's open up the next one here. Let's open up this first one. Feels like another drink. Ye oh, never mind. Spaghettios! Oh my gosh, that's actually so awesome. <laughs> I loved these things as a child. Um, so this is just amazing. Again, it looks kind of large for the scale that I want it for, but I think that's so adorable. I love SpaghettiOs. Here, we have another package of some sort, Frutella. They almost look, it almost looks like a knockoff version of Starbursts. Um, I don't want to like diss this brand. It could not be. It could just be something else that I've never heard of ever, um, but they look cute. Oh, oh, okay. Um, what is this? Sugar-free bazooka bubblegum. Oh, bubblegum, okay. It's, is there something inside? Can I open it, can I open it up? That's so mean. There's definitely something inside, but I don't think I can open it up. You can see it. <gasps> That's so sad, I wanna open it. 
Okay. We got another drink. Here's a Fanta. Again, I think these ones are slightly better sized, like in the bottles like that. And I do love how you can really see like the actual liquid in there. We have goldfish. Okay, those are cute. Those are so cute. It feels, this sounds weird. It feels exactly how the packaging of goldfish feels. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like it's like so accurate to how it feels. It's just like this specific type of paper almost. And if you guys aren't already aware, like mini brands have such amazing little details though. Like literally all of the little writing is like actually words. It's actually insane the amount of detail on these things. It's so accurate to the life-size version. Okay, my favorite from this round might have to be SpaghettiOs only because it's just too nostalgic to me. But otherwise, the goldfish is like just so good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I was just looking at the guide and I noticed there's a mini hot glue gun. I love my hot glue gun, I use it all the time. So now I'm really hoping for the hot glue gun at some point in this video, please and thank you. Okay, so for the bubble gum, I definitely think this one was the large one because that's pretty huge. Like, I don't think it's gonna get bigger than that. So I'm gonna check off the big one for that. Okay, moving on to our second last series five ball here. I still can't with this packaging. Like guys, I'm sorry. You think they would have this figured out by now? Or maybe it's just me. Maybe everyone else can do this just fine. Like, I don't know. Okay. No. I was hoping we weren't gonna get any doubles. I wasn't gonna even say anything about it. I wasn't gonna mention even the possibility because I was just really hoping that it wasn't gonna happen. And it did happen. And it's the worst one because this one is so frustrating to me. But actually, since we do have a double of this one, I really want to try to cut this thing open and see if we can get the bubble gum out. Give me a second. Okay, so I have no idea how easy it's going to be to cut this plastic, but I have my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to try to cut it open. Like the top, the lid part. Oh my gosh, that's not going to be easy at all. Okay, I managed to get the tip of my knife through the first layer of plastic there, but that alone took forever. So I don't know how I'm supposed to open this thing up fully. You're definitely not supposed to. Definitely don't attempt this. Just don't. Don't put yourself through this. Okay, we are making progress slowly but surely. Keyword slowly. This is gonna take me forever. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I've committed now. So I feel like I just have to keep going. I'm also definitely gonna just cut myself at any given moment. Okay, after painful hours of sawing this thing open, just kidding, I actually just went over to my brother's room and asked him to open this up for me. So he just cut it open with one of his knives and that took about two minutes. So an X-Acto knife is definitely not the way to go. Either way, let's see what is inside of this thing. It is pretty messy, but this plastic is no joke. They do not mess around with this packaging. <laughs> let's see. Oh. Wow. Okay, so this is honestly what I was expecting. It is basically just a bunch of little pieces stuck together of gum. I'm happy that it's not just at least one big pink blob that's like nothing. You can actually see the texture of the different pieces of gum. But would I say that this is worth cutting open this container and spending way too much time and way too much energy trying to get this thing open? Definitely not. But I was curious what was inside and now we know it's just a block of little pieces of gum. Am I ever gonna use this? And was there any actual benefit to doing this? Absolutely not. But now you guys can know what's inside and I was curious, so. Okay, now let's continue on with the rest of the items here. I wanna be upset, but I'm not. <laughs> Because I love SpaghettiOs. It is a little bit sad to get another double though. I really hope this isn't just a round of all doubles. That would be very disappointing. But if I were to get a double, this is a double that, you know, I'm not too upset about. Please do not be another double. Please. Oh, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not. Oh, okay, this is like one of those little, what is this? Oh, 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 it's a little roll of tape. Okay, that's actually super cute. It's a little roll of clear, like, packing tape. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have some sauce. And last one here, we have, oh, yes! This was worth getting the two doubles because I literally was just talking about how I want the hot glue gun and this is adorable. Super happy about that. Okay, by no surprise, my favorite item this round is the mini hot glue gun. Definitely, this one's my favorite. And now let's open up the last one of the series five mini brands. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's ever happened, ever. Is that how it's supposed to go every time? <laughs> so at this point, there's not anything in particular that I'm wanting. I just don't want doubles. Please and thank you. 
we got another package. This one's a UPS one. That is so awesome. <laughs> okay, we got another UPS package. Let's see what's inside of this one. Uh, what is this? <laughs> I'm very confused, but it, it's cool. It's not gonna be used really, realistically. I feel like maybe some people would be very excited about this thing. I don't really know what it is, but there it is. I'm more excited about the packaging, honestly. <laughs> No, I did not want more doubles. Okay, these are little cookies, dark chocolate cookies. No, what the heck? Why is all my luck just disappearing now? Because I did not want another Coca-Cola can. Okay, last one of the series five mini brands. Beef with country vegetables. Yay. Okay, for the most part, I would say this was kind of a dud round other than this little UPS Express package. That was probably my favorite thing. Everything else, I'm not too excited about, honestly. Next, we're gonna take a look at Mini Brands sneakers. And I believe this is a newer line. I personally like just discovered that this existed and it looks pretty cool. And I'm definitely hoping that these shoes can fit Barbie dolls, but we'll find that out. Okay, and I guess let's just open one up and see what we're dealing with here. crack it open looks like we have the collector's guide okay assuming these will fit the dolls i really want this pair here or this light purple one here and then as for hats either this purple one or this pink one or even the little bucket hats actually okay looks like we actually have two packages here and then like two stickers which honestly like aren't super you know exciting for me um i'm just here for these packages and i hope we get something exciting here let's see Okay, it's one of the bucket hats. Okay, 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 that's exciting. Okay, I have a good feeling that this could actually fit the dolls. I'm gonna test out all the products and stuff at the end of the video, so stay tuned and we can see if these actually do fit Barbie dolls. I don't know why I was expecting a cloth material. It's definitely not, oh, I didn't even notice the logo on the front. Um, It's definitely not cloth or anything or like fabric, but it honestly still looks really good and doesn't feel like cheap in a way, if that makes sense. Okay, now let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, they come with shoe boxes. Okay, that is so cool. I love that it comes with an actual little box. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. We got the pink shoes. Honestly, not my favorite pair if I were to choose myself because the hot pink is kind of a little bit cheesy in my opinion, but they still do look really cute and have great detail. There's like the see-through bit in like the heel here. It looks like the tongue is kind of movable. Okay, I think my favorite item has to be the little bucket hat here or the actual shoe box for the shoes, honestly. And now let's open up our other sneakers mini brands. We have our two little stickers. Also, I don't know why this is just clicking now, but I think the stickers kind of hint to what kind of items you're gonna get. Because in the last one, we got two Skechers stickers and then both of our items were Skechers. So with that logic, these are probably gonna be Reebok items. Oh, okay. I'm aware that the gold is like ultra rare or something. So maybe I should be more excited, but honestly, I just wanted a regular color, <laughs> but that's fine. The gold is just fine. Does that mean that this is gonna be an ultra rare thing as well? I don't know. Pump it up. <gasps> okay, yeah, we got gold shoes as well. Okay, I should be more excited about this. I know I should be more excited about this, but I really just wanted like a regular color. Like I really didn't need all this extraness. Favorite item I would probably say are the shoes and the box. I do wonder just how rare these items actually are though. Like, am I complaining too much? Probably because I just got all of the ultra rare items. Next up, we'll take a look at Foodie Mini Brands Series 2. Now I've taken a look at Series 1 before, but I'm excited for all the new stuff that's in Series 2. So let's take a look. It looks like this series also has the ultra rare frozen moment minis, which like, yeah, there's like a scene kind of frozen in midair. Like this one's a pizza slice being taken out of a pizza. Anyways, I would love to get something like that. I like this checkered pattern underneath though. That's really cool. Ooh, okay, here is the collector's guide. Okay, so taking a look at the guide, I would definitely love one of the pizzas. And again, one of the frozen moment minis would be really cool as well. Looks like we have Cura. What the heck is that? White Castle. I think I've heard of this one before. I don't know, but it looks like it's like a burger kind of thing. Too bad you can't take the burger out. That looks like a nice quality burger. Oh, okay. We have a little drink. This is Jack in the Box. That's really cute. I like the little like ice on the top. 
in here. Ooh, okay, we have another Jack in the Box. And I love these ones because you can actually close them up. And that burger looks pretty detailed. I like the little pieces of bacon coming out. Oh, pizza, 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 yes, yes, yes. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, that's really cool. I was hoping for a circular pizza, but honestly, the square pizza is just fine. I actually personally love these kind of like deep dish pizzas, like in like the rectangle shapes. Anyways, I'm really happy about that. I'm still hoping for a circular pizza, but this is really cute. Okay, favorite item has to be the pizza, hands down, but I also really do like this little burger in the box as well. Okay, looks like this one is actually one of the ones that come in two different sizes. And again, I don't know which size this one is. Like, I don't know if it's the smaller one or the bigger one. I really couldn't tell you. If there's a way of like knowing that, let me know. But I'm gonna go out here on a whim and guess that it's the bigger one. And I'm actually reading the description of this one here. It looks like it's actually some sort of ice cream. So that's cool. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's actually really cute. It's a little hot dog. And I think it can come out of the packaging, please. <gasps> it can. Oh, it's not even like, a, it's like a, what is this? I don't know. I really like the little tin foil like packaging on that. Okay, we got another drink. This one is Kung Fu Tea. And here we have another boxed hamburger. Love that. And this one is another Jack in the Box one. That same Kira brand just looks like some sort of noodle dish. Honestly, the realism of this one isn't that great. Like it kind of looks realistic, but it also just looks like it's just printed on. From a distance though, it does look very realistic. And the last one, I'm afraid. I'm very afraid right now. It feels like the exact same Pizza Hut box that we just opened up. And I really don't want a duplicate. No, 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 no. A little disappointed because again, I did want a circular pizza and I did want another rectangular one, but Oh well. Okay, my favorite item from this round probably has to be this little hot dog thing. I know it's not a hot dog, but I forget the name of it. Or this little drink is honestly also just very cute and realistic looking. It probably would have been the pizza if I didn't already have it though. Okay, it's called a pretzel dog. That's actually definitely not what I was thinking, but that's what it's called. Like, I'm sorry, out of all the different pizza options, we happen to get the one rectangular one twice. That's so sad. Next is Mini Fashion Series 2. I've taken a look at Series 1 before, and I absolutely loved the stuff that I found. So I'm excited about Series 2. We have the Collector's Guide. Oh my gosh, I'm taking a look at this Collector's Guide, and I would literally be happy to get, like, anything on here everything looks so cool i do think these little jewelry boxes with like rings inside and stuff are especially cool though but let's see i'm kind of wondering why there's only two packages i'm trying to remember if this is what it was like in series one as well but maybe there's more items inside oh yep okay we got a couple things in here we have a sticker never really too thrilled about these just because i don't really use stickers at least not like ones like this so but we have, oh, this is so random. Why is this in the mini fashion? It's like a little bubble tea. Okay, we have this little tiny brush. Oh my gosh. And it looks like a little like cologne or perfume. Okay, I was gonna try to take off the lid, but I don't think it comes off. Okay, now let's open this one. There's something big in here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My that is so cute. I don't know what's going on with the tassels. They're kind of going out of control here. I love pink obviously everyone knows that about me but this is really cute i wish the tassels could kind of sort themselves out a little bit though because it does look a little crazy can open up and it does have a little magnet which is just super convenient and you can put stuff inside okay favorite item from this round probably has to be the pink purse okay all i'm asking with this second one is just that we get no doubles please and thank you okay again just no doubles and i'll be very happy Let's open up this first. Okay, definitely not. Oh, that's so cute. This is definitely not a double. We have this little blue purse with little pearls for like the little handle. And I just love how these purses are actually made out of fabric. Like they are super realistic and just great quality. Off to a great start. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we have a sticker. We know how I feel about stickers. Oh my gosh, I missed. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, okay. We have a little bucket hat. Honestly, I'm not as thrilled about this as there might be with something else just because we already got a bucket hat earlier in this video, but I do really like the light blue color of it. And I just, I do like it in general. I just maybe would have liked something else a little bit more, but I'm not going to complain because it's not a double. So, and we got, okay, those are cute. <laughs> we have little sunglasses that actually can like bend. 
those are really cute i don't know how well those are gonna actually fit the dolls so we'll have to find that out later and the last thing in here is this little perfume okay out of these ones my favorite does have to probably be this little purse it's adorable now we have mini brands fashion to be entirely honest i'm not sure what the big difference is between mini brands fashion and mini fashion <laughs> either way i'm excited though because we just have more miniature fashion pieces to take a look at here is the collector's guide oh okay wow that's actually very large oh okay so it definitely does look like different kinds of items they're still definitely fashion related but look at some of these shoes oh my gosh what the heck these are even better than the sneakers i'm sorry like what okay right now what i'm specifically hoping for are these little combat boots those are the cutest things i've ever seen or these little ankle boots here or otherwise these mini little nails those are also adorable but there's a lot on here that i would be so happy to get looks like the same kind of setup as the mini fashion with the two different packages <gasps> okay i don't know what this is um but it's really cute it's like a little purse i guess that looks like a perfume bottle okay now i think there should be several things inside of this one here though oh what is this is it like a little rug like a little display rug thing i'm not really sure what this is but we have it oh my gosh we got one of the shoes we got one of the shoes we got one of the shoes these are these little pink ones. There's actually like a little buckle on it too. Oh no, but it's it's only one shoe. It's only, oh no, it is. Okay, it's two, it's two, it's two, it's, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> There's two shoes. Again, I'm gonna have to definitely test if these fit Barbie dolls. We'll save that till the end of the video though. And then what is this? This might be a necklace. I really couldn't tell you. Or maybe a belt. I would probably use this as a belt for the dolls um, or even a necklace potentially. But either way, it's nice. It feels like great quality. Like it's metal and the little charms are adorable. Oh, and I think this thing here might actually be a bandana. That's my best guess. I think this is actually a bandana. Okay. Okay, out of these items, my favorite would probably have to be the shoes. But honestly, everything here is pretty cool. And now the other mini brands fashion. Oh my gosh, those are cute. What? Look at these. Oh my gosh. We have these little red heels. Okay, we also have this. I think it's probably like a little bracelet. And then this is what is this i genuinely don't know what this is maybe like maybe it's a little like perfume or like a lipstick a golden lipstick i don't really know okay and then in here oh okay that's actually really cool i guess it's supposed to be a purse um does it open oh it does open what's inside okay that's actually so cool what the heck it's like this little drawstring black bag inside that you can put stuff in and then you can put this inside of like this little caged gold caged purse and then you can like close it up and then carry it around okay that's actually so cool okay my favorite thing probably has to be these little boots but honestly this is so unique too so like it's between these two here what okay i'm a bit confused to be honest because this one is not actually on here the closest thing is this red lipstick but this isn't red wait oh my gosh <laughs> okay never mind never mind it's something like just didn't get glued in properly i guess probably that is actually so cute i like this one a lot better now here is a Barbie doll, and let's take a look at some of the size comparisons of the mini brands to Barbie dolls. As I suspected, some of the items are a little bit disproportional. This Coca-Cola can is huge. But other items are perfect, like this little drink here. So it honestly is a little bit random with what is proportional to the dolls and not. But overall, I would say that most of the items do seem to work pretty well with Barbie dolls. And I'll give you a few more examples. Here's this little goldfish bag. Again, perfect sizing. This pretzel dog. These packages are definitely perfectly sized, but I feel like that's pretty easy because I feel like any size package would work for the dolls. Some things are kind of borderline, like these SpaghettiOs. I feel like the can might be a little bit on the large side but i feel like it's also one of the things where you could just kind of make it work as well but other ones i feel like are a little bit hard to get away with like that's a pretty big can of chunky beef i think this hamburger works pretty well too lots of the foodie mini brands especially seem to work really well oh my gosh and this little nail polish is just so perfect along with this little lipstick and perfume i am very curious to see though if these sunglasses are gonna fit 
they actually kind of work. Those actually look great. Like, I don't know. I think those fit pretty well. I'm definitely curious about the hats. Let's try on this cap. And keep in mind, she does have a bit of a hairstyle going on right now, so it might be extra difficult. But that actually works, like, really well. Yeah, that's actually, like, a perfect fit. Let's try it on backwards as well. Let's see. Yeah, like that works perfectly. We have these two bucket hats. One is from the sneakers collection and one is from the mini fashions collection. And they're both a different size. So I'm curious to see which one's gonna fit better. Okay. It's a bit of a snug fit, but it does still work. I would say that does still work. And as for the mini fashion one, yeah, that one's definitely... A much better fit. As for the mini fashion purses, they definitely are a good size for the dolls. Like, they definitely are a bit on the larger size for purses, but they definitely still work. And here's the pink one as well. Same kind of idea. I still wish these tassels could, like, sort themselves out. But again, it definitely still works. It just looks like a bit of a bigger purse. Here is a purse from the mini brand's fashion collection, and that is perfect. And let's try on this other purse from the mini brand's fashion. Yeah, like, that is a perfect perfectly sized purse. Okay, I'm also pretty curious to try out this belt thing. Um, I'm still making the assumption that it is a belt. If it's something else and you guys know what it is, let me know, but I think it's a belt. Let's see how it fits though. And this is super cool because you can adjust it to like any length, so it should work on like any doll. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. I have a similar belt like this for myself and it literally serves no other purpose other than accessorizing your pants. And I am here for it. I absolutely love it. And I love the little charms on the belt as well. I don't care if this is actually supposed to be a belt or not. I'm gonna be using it as one. Okay, and lastly, we have to try out the shoes. These are from the mini brand sneakers. And guys, let's be so for real right now. There's no way. <laughs> There's actually no way, but um, Okay, it actually like stays on, but that looks ridiculous. I, I don't know. I personally think this is extremely unrealistic. Like I think these will look really cool on a shelf, but as for fitting the Barbie dolls, like no. And as for a Ken doll foot, it doesn't look like it's gonna be able to squeeze into there. If it did fit, it would probably be like a really good size, but I can't get the shoe on and I don't wanna try to force it and break this. However, I have a lot more hope for the mini brands fashion shoes. These look like they're actually gonna fit. So let's try them on. That's such a tiny buckle. Okay, that was honestly the fight of my life to get this little buckle on. But I would say they fit definitely better than the sneakers. But I would say that the doll's foot is definitely on the small side. You can see where her toes are. On a tall Barbie foot, however, that's looking like much better of a fit. Okay, so I didn't do up the buckles fully this time because that is just too much work right now. But I would definitely say that they fit way better on the tall Barbie. And now as for these adorable little red heels, I'm going to try them on the regular Barbie doll foot again here. Oh my gosh, with the little red toenails. Are you kidding me? I would say this is a success. The toes don't fully poke out at the end, but the doll just doesn't have enough arch in her foot for the toes to poke out. So this definitely wouldn't work on a tall Barbie doll. So if you actually have a doll with like a decent arch in their foot, then this would probably work a lot better. But I would still say it's a pass because... I just want to say it's a pass. And I feel like it'll just be different with every single shoe from this series. So you'll just kind of have to experiment with it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Comment down below and let me know which of the items we took a look at today is your favorite. Also, let me know which specific Zuru mini brands you want me to review next. And I'll do it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad. Love you all and see you all in the next one. Bye.